to my channel 5 minute pediatric today we will manage uh, asthma in less than 5 year of age as for latest gina guideline in less than 5 year of age it is very difficult to diagnose or labeled as a recurrent cough as asthma feature suggested diagnosis of asthma in children less than 5 year and younger includes cough which is persistent recurrent non productive that get worsened in night or accompanied by breathing difficulty cough that precipitated by the exercise laughing crying or exposure to tobacco in absence of apparent respiratory infection wheeze that may be precipitated by laughing crying exposure to tobacco or air pollution shortness of breath breathing difficulty may be precipitated with exercise laughing or crying past or family history includes history of atopy or allergic disease or asthma in the first relative now one more uh, thing we have to learn uh, assessment of asthma control and uh, we inquire four question in the uh, related to last four week if the child had daytime symptom for more than few minute more than once a week is there any limitation in activity due to asthma or reliever medication required more than once a week any night waking or night coughing due to asthma we label the it as well control partially control and control on that basis uh, if none of these are present then it is well controlled if one to two of these are present it is partially controlled and mm, three to four of these are present then it is uncontrolled now step by management of asthma considered this step for children with infrequent viral wheezing and no or few interval symptom of cough wheeze or shortness of breath in step 2 consider all children with symptom pattern consistent with asthma and asthma symptom not well controlled or more than 3 exacerbation per year and if the symptom pattern not consistent with the asthma but wheezing episode occur frequently every 6 to 8 week then in this condition we give diagnostic trial of inhaled corticosteroid for 3 month and in step 3 consider all children with asthma diagnosis and not well controlled on low dose inhaled corticosteroid before stepping up of drug always confirm the symptom that is consistent with the asthma or is there any alternative diagnosis always check and try to correct the inhaler technique confirm adherence of the prescribed drug and always inquire about the risk factors such as allergen tobacco smoke exposure same in step 4 consider this step for children with not control on double low dose inhaled corticosteroid say similar in this condition we first check the diagnosis if alternative diagnosis may be present inhaler skill adherence and exposure this is the single chart showing step 1 step 2 step 3 and step 4 in every in every step we require a reliever drug in the form of short acting beta t agonist in a step 1 there is a no preferred controller choice uh, in a step 2 we start with daily low dose inhaled corticosteroid uh, the dose of uh, 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 low dose inhaled corticosteroid less than 5 year is buracinide in the form of nebulization is 500 microgram and other control option we have leukotriene receptor antagonist 
intermittent inhaled corticosteroid in a step 3 we double the low dose inhaled corticosteroid and other controller option we have low dose inhaled corticosteroid plus leukotriene receptor antagonist and before stepping 2 to 3 we give this for almost 3 months and step 4 uh, we continue the same controller drug and refer for a specialist assessment and other option we have add leukotriene receptor antagonist um, or low dose oral corticosteroid for few weeks only until the symptom gets controlled and increase inhale corticosteroid um, frequency add intermittent in uh, inhale corticosteroid to regular daily inhale corticosteroid if exaggerations are the main problem we have uh, a different technique of giving drugs in 0 to 3 year and 4 to 5 year in 0 to 3 years we give pressurized mdi plus special plus face mask and four to five years we usually give pressurized mdi plus special plus mouthpiece uh, thanks for watching uh, kindly subscribe my channel five minute pediatrics in the next video we will discuss about the management of asthma in adult